Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of digital logic design and today we will study literals. From last few videos we know that when a boolean expression is implemented with logic gate each term requires a gate and each variable within the term designates an input to the gate. Now we define a literal to be a single variable within a term which is either in complemented or in uncomplemented form from la now continuing from the last example of function f2 which was implemented in normal form and then in simplified form the figure a represent function f2 and figure b represent same function in simplified form the function in figure a has three terms and and within the first term it has three variables and in second term again three variables and in last term it has two variable and these variables within a term are known as literal so the function in figure a has total of eight literals where the function in figure two is sum of two terms and within each term there are two literals so the function in figure b has a total of four literals so we can say that by reducing the number of terms the number of literals or both in a boolean expression are reduced and we have a simplified form of the circuit the manipulation of boolean algebra consists of mostly reducing an expression for the purpose to obtain a simplified circuit or simplified boolean expression now we have to simplify the given boolean functions to minimum number of literal first one is x dot x prime plus y now for simplification we will apply the boolean rules and we will have x dot x prime plus x dot y now we know that x dot x prime equals zero so equation will reduce to zero plus x dot y and will equal to x dot y in second example we have to reduce boolean function x plus x prime dot y now by applying the specified law we will have relation x plus x prime into x plus y we know that x plus x prime equals 1 and overall expression will be equal to x plus y now here the given boolean functions were dual of each other so the answers obtained are also dual of each other now we have to simplify a boolean function x plus y into x plus y prime this function can be simplified using two method first one is using multiplication so we will have x plus x dot y plus x dot y prime plus y dot y prime here we know that y dot y prime will be equal to zero and x plus one is equal to one so applying the relation we will have x dot one and will be reduced to x now coming to second method x plus y into x plus y prime can be reduced into x plus y dot y prime again y dot y prime will be equal to 0 and x plus 0 equals x now again we have two boolean functions which we have to simplify into minimum number of literal starting with the first one which is x dot y plus x prime z plus y dot z where the second function is x plus y into x prime plus z into y plus z both the boolean functions are dual of each other by solving one function we can have a result of second function now starting with the first function if you analyze that the overall function consists of three variables and is a sum of three terms where in each term we have two variable and one variable is missing so we will introduce the missing variable to any of the term and then we will solve now for this introduction we will use the boolean postulate which says that x dot 1 equals x and x plus x prime equals to 1 so at first we will introduce the identity element and then this identity element will be replaced by x plus x prime now using multiplication and rearranging the variables within a term we will proceed with simplification and we will be left with 
x dot y into 1 plus z and x prime dot z multiplied by 1 plus y and we know that 1 plus z or 1 plus y both are equal to 1 and any variable multiplied by 1 gives back the value of variable. So we will have x dot y plus x prime dot z. Now coming to the second equation, here again we have overall three variables of the function where in each term one variable is missing. Now for the introduction of missing variable, we will use a boolean postulate which says that x plus 0 equals x. And then we also know that x dot x prime equals 0, so the missing variable will be introduced. Now using boolean properties and rearranging the terms and variables within the term, we can apply absorption law and we will come to the result x plus y into x prime z as both the equations were dual of each other and the result obtained is also dual of each other. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.